And with the new elections and the withdrawal of international troops, Afghanistan faces yet another rebirth. One surprising example is the nation's film industry, all but destroyed after years of war and oppressive Taliban rule. CCTV's Christian Yeo speaks with one filmmaker about the role arts play in reconnecting Afghanistan with the wider world. In the Canadian capital, a hero's welcome for the last Canadian troops to return home from Afghanistan, more than 12 years after the mission began. Whatever work remains, the people of Afghanistan are better off today because of Canada's investments. These are your accomplishments, your glory, and sadly also your sacrifice. The mission in Afghanistan was Canada's longest active military intervention. And opinion is divided as to whether or not Afghanistan is better for that intervention and whether it can stand on its own feet and prosper. Helping provide a human narrative to Afghanistan's growing pains, the film industry has flourished. With its landscape a rich tapestry of desert and mountains, the resulting pictures of this war-torn country are both breathtaking and eye-opening. Afghan-Canadian filmmaker Ariel Naza's Oscar-nominated short film Buzz Cashy Boys, a coming-of-age story about two young boys in Kabul, was shot and produced entirely on location with local film talent. I think what you see now in Afghanistan, there is a thriving economy, TV economy, and, and uh, a lot of radio, a lot of uh, commercial media, but there is also an increasing number of young, talented filmmakers who are making work that's self-driven, that's aesthetically challenging, and that uh, tells uh, stories from a really interesting perspective. Buzz Cashy Boys and last year's Wajma, an Afghan love story by Kabul film director Barmak Akram, depict a diverse cross-section of Afghan life, from middle-class suburbia to the life of a humble blacksmith. They're about love, ambition, and achievement, themes which foreign audiences can relate to. What you're seeing is a lot more universal stories. So as opposed to stories about uh, how hard it was to live under the Taliban or about the transition and the injustice of living in a country without proper rule of law, you're seeing stories that are a lot more universal, stories that are about friendship or about tradition. While those stories feel familiar, there is a lingering legacy of the oppressive Taliban years and more than a decade of Western occupation. This is a country still playing catch up with the rest of the world. But Afghan cinema is perhaps one example of how the country is connecting with the wider world once again. Christian Yeo, CCTV, Toronto.